Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. Tonight, it'll be the Detroit Pistons going up against the Washington Wizards. Hello, basketball fans. Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. As the playoffs draw closer, here's what the East looks like. You look Every time you think they've turned the corner, they really haven't. So a look at our starters for the Wizards. They've got Daniel Gafford, Kentavious Caldwell-Pope out there with Ish Smith. Then it's Kristaps Porzingis, and it's Achimura in at the three, the small forward. And for Detroit, Isaiah Stewart out there with Marvin Bagley. Then there's Cunningham, then there's Sadiq Bey, and it's Grant in at the three. And this time of year, Grant, the evolution of strength and conditioning programs really shows its value. It really does. I mean, this is a great time to be an NBA player for so many reasons, including the ones that you mentioned. Here's Cunningham and Smith over to help. Here's Bagley. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. Grant, right side. Pass to Cunningham. From outside the arc, he hits that one. Two for five now. And thinking about Bryant's offense, he doesn't get the reputation as efficient because all his finishes are right at the rim. That's exactly right. You're correct. Not just a close-range scorer, though. He's now got a solid outside game. He's smart enough to recognize a good shot and pass up on any bad ones. That's the key to his effectiveness. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. And he drives in, Kispert, and he makes it on the layup. And a good luck winning the game. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's Marvin Bagley making highlights for the Detroit Pistons. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. We'll be back in a moment. In the second quarter fairly close game so far and guys what you take on the Pistons so Andy. Bay from long range buries it from three Bay's got 14 slow reaction from the D and it cost him three and here's Smith nine points for him in his last game oh Lennox with some nice D Pass to Bay. Back to Diallo. Picked it out of midair. And they're on the run. And there's the lob. Oh, blows the alley oop jam. And it was a great chance to finish on the break. And he flips it. It was right there for him. He'd love to have that one back. That was embarrassing. Find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Porzingis against Bay. Unable to get that one. Good D by Porzingis. Hachimura with room to shoot. Down it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Well, the team has preached to Rui Hachimura to be aggressive on the offensive end. That is the decisive decision making they're looking for. Now here's Bay. 18 points for him. And the Pistons, another three. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. And the Wizards call time here. Boy, you gotta like what we're seeing from Sadiq. Sends it home from three-point land. 28 points for him. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Here's Optia, and stolen by Diallo. Bay outside, pass to Bagley. On the wing, Bay. Shoots over Sadoransky. Bay, good. Bay's got 30. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. This team has made a concerted effort to get him shots. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. 
Pass to Bay. Takes the three. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. It's been all about Sadiq Bay for the Detroit Pistons. Talk about three-point shooting. He piled up 18 points from range that quarter. We'll be right back after this word. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. It was a closely contested first quarter for Detroit. And in one stretch there, they were up by six. They're playing for each other right now. Selfless basketball translating into a five-point lead now after trailing initially. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? They found a slight edge on the boards, and they've done it with nothing but ball determination. I mean, look, they've got talent, but the passion is there, and that separates these guys. They're simply refusing to give up possession. Jack, what was your takeaway on Washington? They were strong in transition. It seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Here's Smith. Seven points in the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. That one goes in. Smith's got nine. They can finally relax after missing their first four shots to start this half. The Pistons leading. Here's Cunningham. He's got nine. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Gafford. Down to five on the shot clock. Bay passes to Hayes. Here's Magruder. And he stays with it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Sadoransky, he's checked in for Achimura. Tomas Sadoransky. Pass to Avdia. Driving to the basket. And he jams it home with authority. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again. The efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Back to the game after this break. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. The Pistons shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Amadou Diallo out there with Cunningham. Then it's Jeremy Grant. Then it's Marvin Bagley. And it's Stewart in at the pivot spot. Manning the middle. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. And it's Cunningham missing. The Wizards with a lead. Here's Caldwell Pope. Basket's good. On the assist from Sadoransky. Outstanding pass. On time and on target. Here's Cunningham. Rebound by the Wizards. Porzingis has got six rebounds in the game. Gafford with the bucket. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating on here in the fourth. Hey, from long range. They get it back. Here's the three. Hits the three-pointer. He's got 45 points. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. Here's Caldwell Pope. Here's Porzingis. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Hachimura has checked in for Washington. Chris Stacks, Porzingis. Well, you have got... Here's Gafford. Got a hand on it. 
No luck. They battled on the glass, but they couldn't knock it down. Here's Bay with the drive, and he dunks it down. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Outside Porzingis. Get it, get it. The Wizards with another miss. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Bay against Hachimura. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Now here's Smith. He's guarded closely. Pass to Porzingis. Baseline jumper. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. Substitutions for your Pistons. Rocky Fuckruder. Kelly Hayes. 1.33 left in the fourth. The Pistons trailing. Here's Magruder. Grant, right side. Oh, Grant throws it down. Oh, boy, Jeremy Grant showing some level-headed poise in the face of a big moment. Big-time shot. Well, the Pistons shooting 36% for the game. Not great. Olenek finds Grant. One minute left in the fourth. Don't oh, stop it in there. Jams it in. And he's fouled. An opportunity in a three-point play. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. At the line for Detroit. Jeremy Grant. That one falls for Grant.